true believers let's talk about the fourth issue to super hung from class comics this was written and drawn by alexander this fourth issue concludes the first story for super hung i've already done a review on issues numbers one through three check them out when you get a chance but to give you a little bit of a recap the character of super hung is based in the city of san francisco and he's sort of similar like the character of superman but this is from class comics so he is way more sexual super hung's alias is kent kendall very nice play on words similar to Clark Kent, who happens to be a reporter. He also started a relationship with a character by the name of Lewis. Unfortunately, there is another superhero by the name of Ultra Hunk who doesn't really like Lewis too much, but she is not afraid to let his feelings be known to Lewis. There's a supervillain who's just simply known as the Masked Man who's been manipulating a lot of the supervillains behind the scenes. And in this issue, we find out exactly who he is and what's been happening with it. Although it's not really a big surprise, but spoilers ahead, so if you've not read this issue, I'm warning you now in advance. Oh my god, the masked man ended up being Ultra Hunk. Yeah, no, it was really no big surprise, but you know what? It was still pretty cool seeing him gather together all of these super villains, each of which are very sexually pervy in their own way. We get a big, massive battle between Super Hunk and all of these villains taking place. And this is probably the hottest issue so far because we get to see each of them do their own little sexual thing to Super Hunk. All Super Hunk's sexual torture is also being broadcast live, where Lewis thinks that he may be able to help him out by going out there to intervene. Too bad for him, he's also cast captured and he's also sexually tortured. The whole misstep for the supervillains is that Ultra Hunk unfortunately shows his hand way too early and he offends the villains which all turn on him and this gives Super Hunk the advantage. Kind of wraps up a bit too neatly and we have everything kind of put back into place but still I did enjoy this issue a lot. Out of all the supervillains I think the Pocket Rocket Twins may be my favorite ones out of them. I won't go into detail as to why but I think it's a pretty unique ability that they have that they're using to their advantage. The character of Rex Ruthless, a multi-billionaire CEO, steps in to help intervene by making a super prison. This is an obvious homage to Lex Luthor, but still, this may be a character that we're going to be seeing later on down the line as a major villain himself. All in all, this is an interesting comic book, and I think it was really well done. Alexander is a great artist. The sexual potency in this is off the chart, and this is something that I liked a lot about this series, especially in this last issue. Or I shouldn't say last issue, the last issue for this first story arc. Being that this could be one of the most powerful superheroes in the Class Comics universe, I would love to see Super Hunk team up with some of the other characters later on. I mean, how cool would it be to see him team up with Naked Justice or Demos? But that's my own wishful thinking. This comic book is available in both PDF form and a printed form from ClassComics.com, which is great because I know there are some people out there that want printed versions of their comic books, so this is a great alternative for them. But anyways, I'll end at that point. Like I said, really awesome comic book. All four issues are available from ClassComics.com. Check them out when you get a chance. Thank you guys for watching me in this video. If you haven't done it yet, check out my Patreon site, check out my social media sites, my websites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Another character that I like was Toy Master, an obvious play on Toy Maker, but the whole idea about him having all of these toys and him being a big kid and using them in sexual ways was something that didn't even occur to me until I read this book, and I'm glad it was done. Alexander, you're awesome.